Since the Friends of Rain and Wreck was founded more than a year ago, one of its key aims was to plant more trees, particularly in the playground. Not only is it important for the environment for the kids to run around and experience nature, but this is a very exposed playground, so we were desperate to get some shade and for the kids to play in the summer. So we've been spending a year fundraising, working with uh, the council, getting everything ordered, and we're finally pleased to say that our first trees are going in. It's been such a long time and we're so excited. We've been using this play area for years and it's beautiful all year round but in the summer it can get really really hot so that shady area for them to play in is going to be awesome. As a former gardener at Buckingham Palace, Stuart Bourne is pleased with the four trees chosen for Raynham. Well there's four trees, I can't, I'm not going to apologise for the Latin, so we've got a Tibetan um, cherry which has got a lovely sort of reddish bark, it's called the um, um, silver birch cherry because it looks like a silver birch. We've got um, a Saruga, which I can't pronounce very, very well, but we've also got a Liquid Amber, which is a fantastic tree that's got really bright yellow uh, leaves in the autumn. So again, we're adding some of the, the, the beauty of the park. And finally, we've got a Magnolia called uh, Elizabeth, which we are dedicating to the Queen because it's the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next year. And so this is going to be a tree dedicated for a Jubilee. Um, so that's what it is. And I've, I've grown it before in my previous experience even, uh, when I worked at, a, at Buckingham Palace Garden and it is a fantastic tree to look at. Medway North supported the planting in return for the Friends of the Wreck maintaining the new trees for the next two years. One of them is being dedicated to the Queen for her Platinum Jubilee and the Queen's Green Canopy, a unique tree planting initiative created to mark the Platinum Jubilee in 2022, which invites people from across the United Kingdom to plant a tree for the Jubilee. This is really important for a number of reasons. We all, I mean, Medway does have a really good tree cover, but the more trees we have, the better, both for biodiversity, for carbon capture, but also because the landscape looks so much nicer with trees in it. So this is hugely important. And this week is National Tree Week, so it's a good time to be planting trees. What we've done is we put our money where our mouth is and make sure we bought quite large standard trees. So there's going to be, they're, they're already going to have a physical impact in the garden. They're already going to, you're going to really see them already next year. But yeah, probably, uh, I'm not going to be answering my best, but they do say the, the wisest gardener is he doesn't plant for himself, he plants for the future. And uh, hopefully this is going to be trees for generations of uh, rain and residents. The tree planting follows a bulb planting session two weekends ago at the recreation ground, when 15 volunteers planted more than 400 daffodil bulbs for spring. The Queen's Jubilee tree will be formally dedicated at a ceremony next year. Sandy Fleming for Rainham News.